2018, Olympic medalist Dawn Harper Nelson announced her retirement from track and field, a sport she dominated for over a decade. Now, one year later, and as a new mom, she's ready to come out of retirement and take on the 2020 Olympics. Here to tell us more about her journey, please welcome Dawn Harper Nelson. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey. So, welcome. Thank you for having it's me. It's so good to see you and the baby. Yeah. Oh, what is yeah. her name? Her name is Harper Nelson, of course. which is hilarious. My <laughs> husband chose the name. I was a little, but I was like, it yeah. has a nice ring Absolutely. to it. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. And she's Thank so you. pretty. Such a pretty baby. So congratulations on new momhood. How has that changed your life? Um, drastically, um, <laughs> for me beforehand, of course, everything was very planned. I would wake up in the morning and I mean, have everything that I would do to a T to 11 a.m., 11 or 5. I mean, yeah. And with Harper, just this morning, I had to leave the house nine minutes late because, you know, <laughs> seriously, I mean, I'm really kind of that structured, especially when track and field is involved. Really? And so yeah, it's been very different, but she's such a good sleeper and eater. Good. I cannot complain. Okay. At all all yeah. right. Well, that, that is a blessing. Yes, it is. Because the kids will take. I mean, make a schedule yeah, and just and laugh. They laugh. Yeah, they, they laugh. laugh. <laughs> they laugh at you. Right. They have no schedule. They have their own schedule. Yeah, exactly. So, well, I mean, that is really nice that you're able to. Has it been hard for you to adjust to that? Like, um, hard. It has been a little bit to just really wrap your mind around. Um, at the time when I thought I was, you know, really retiring, I was like, this is. It, yeah. In the sense of now, I have to find my next passion, and yes, it's my daughter. But how does that? you know, kind yeah. of intertwine with also just me and my identity. So is training yeah. different too? Training is very <laughs> different because as, especially in the very beginning, mm -hmm. um, I started training a month after I had her. And for me, I wanted to have her close. I wanted to have her with me. And at the time it was really hot outside. So, you know, we had to take extra, you know, steps for that. Right. But to try and get out the house at the proper time, eat at the proper time, and then be at practice with her if she would start fussing. Yeah. It was a blessing. My husband would tend to her, but I'm still looking over doing a set. Like, is she okay? Right, exactly. So, yeah. So, so did you wear sad. her while you were training? Or are you one of those So people? in the very okay. beginning I did. Okay. My husband was like, oh, he was like, perfect, you have built-in weights. And so I wore her on the front. <laughs> so, you know, I did a lot of lunges and things like that. Right. But now... No, she's no. getting heavy. She and, is. Uh, yeah, so she can just sit there and watch mommy. Yeah, she can sit until she starts running mm -hmm. right with right. you. Right, exactly. Well, that is really dope that you've been able to adjust and, and make mm -hmm. it a part of your life. So you say follow your journey. What yes. made you say you wanted to retire, first of all? Yes, so for me, it's amazing how I've always had um, three things just kind of in the forefront of my mind. I want to be an Olympic champion. I want to be a wife and a mom. Okay. And, of course, I attained the first two things. And to be a mom, I always grew up really hearing and understanding to be a mom, nothing else matters but your child. Mm -hmm. And for me, I took that on as everything else must stop. Right. Um, and then I understood the demands that track and field had on you. And so I just didn't believe that I could juggle the two. And so that's why it was my decision was really fueled by a lot of just these thoughts that I had of, you're done, Dawn, you're done, because in order to give her what she needs, right. you know. And so um, that's why I made the decision. But it was it was burning on the inside <laughs> the whole time I was pregnant. I worked out the entire time. Oh, and right. it was funny because people would see me when it would be cold um, or the temperature was just too hot. I would be, you know, in the gym or working out on the treadmill. And people would come over and be like, should you be running with your temp? And Don't I'm touch like, me, first of all. <laughs> excuse me, I'm actually very comfortable, you know, because it will be the best I will feel all day. You know, just right. with the changes your body goes through, working out was kind of my escape. Um, and so, you know, I had to kind of let people know I'm okay. Right. But in the back of my mind, I was also thinking, if you do decide to run, you cannot take nine months off. That's just going to be, wow. I think, just kind of the death of it all. So, yeah. yeah. So that really was, you said, I'll retire, but then you got, so you got pregnant and said, I'll retire, or you uh, right after you had oh, no. her? Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so I uh, <laughs> found out my last three races, I was actually pregnant with my oh. daughter. Yeah, but I had already made up my mind uh, for the year of 2018. I had done this retirement kind of tour. I was okay. done from the indoors to the uh, last meet. But when you say retirement, did you really think that you were going to be done, done? So I was saying, I'm done, Dawn, because you're going to be a mom. You're done. Girl. That's what I'm telling myself, okay? <laughs> you're done. And so I really was saying, like, this is just accepted. This is right. going to be your next step. So I was really preparing, taking all those steps, moving from L.A. to here to oh, at home. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so because me and my husband, we had our home here for about six, almost seven years, but I never lived here. Right, oh, okay. And so, yeah, I would just come back and forth. And so I was really taking those steps, but I just, but I was kind of also afraid to mention, like, that dream of my, like, how do you say that to your husband, like, Okay, I said I was retired, but I really actually, yeah. haha, psych, can we go on this journey again that right. we know all the ups and downs that it entails? And then to ask my family, because there's no way I could do it alone. Right, your say, support system has to has support to you. It has to be huge. Right. Yeah, and my family was, 
They said, Dawn, if you don't go chase this dream, like, you know, and my mother-in-law always says, you have such a small window, honey. You, really you better do. go for it. As so. long as you can yeah. run, you better get mm -hmm. to it. So you know what? We're going to find out more about your training, okay. how you've been inf influenced by your daughter and, and keeping going, because yes. I'm sure she's a big influence. Yes. So stay with us here at STL Live. We'll learn more about Dawn Hartford Nelson's journey to the 2020 Olympics Day Club. Mm -hmm.